So today's tip is just to talk about um, simulating paper colour in InDesign. Quite often I'll have people who want to print on a particular colour paper um, and they want to really simulate how that's going to look in there and imagine it. And what they tend to do um, is go grab the rectangle tool and, and they will pop it in there. They'll have a, a bleed on there, which I didn't say on this one accidentally, but they'll take it out of the bleed and they'll go on here and they'll add the colour and they might make up their own colour using the swatches panel and pop it on there. And they've then got a very large rectangle in the background with that colour on there. The, the obvious problems with this are as you drag around, it does move. So that, that's problem number one. So what they'd end up having to do then is they then end up going into kind of the layers panel and trying to find it and then maybe lock it. So that's, that's kind of solved that problem. You might have issues with it coming up on top of things and hiding them inadvertently. So I guess you could create a second layer and put it behind. And then you've got a final problem of if you forget it's on there and you maybe leave it on a couple of pages by accident, it's going to print a whole load of cyan. So when you send it off to the printer, that's going to come out of cyan ink. And, and that's an obvious problem. So there's actually a much better way of doing this. And, and I'm apologizing in advance to all those people who spent years doing this and thought it was the easy way of doing it. But there's, there's definitely a far quicker way here. And the quicker way, if I just get rid of that frame a little bit, is to actually go into your swatches panel. And in your swatches panel, you'll see there's a swatch in there called paper. And if you give that a double click, you can actually change the color of the paper swatch in here. So for example, if I wanted it cyan, I could bring it up to cyan, turn on preview, and I'm now previewing how that looks with cyan on every page because I've changed the actual paper color. Now, the other advantage of this, or a couple of advantages, you won't need to lock it. You won't need to worry about the layering order because everything's going to come up on top of that. that. That literally is the paper. And the other advantage, of course, is it won't print. So when you output this document, that cyan color won't be there. It's not going to come out of cyan ink. It simply isn't there because it assumes you are printing on cyan paper. So when you're doing that, you can go in there and you can change it to whatever color you want. You can set your CMYK color settings in there or switch over to another color mode. Chances are it's probably CMYK color settings, but you might have a lab setting, for example. So you could go in there, set those settings and simulate that to whatever colors you wanted um, that suit your particular design and set it in there. When you're done, just set them back to zero if you, if you don't want to see it anymore and you're back to having white paper again. So hopefully that helps a little bit.